<laughs> I want to die. So, do you like my t-shirt? Yeah. Me neither. Right, enough with the fun and games. I truly believe that the time of bad products and bad commercials had ended. Seems to me I was wrong. I stumbled upon this commercial called the, uh, fuck, I don't even remember its name. It's stupid regardless, so uh, let's take a look. Thanks to social media, we know what our close friends like, what our not so close friends like, even what strangers like. Wait, why would we care about the things our not so close friends like? I get that we care about what the general public likes, because that's what defines the trends on different sites. And obviously we care about what our close friends are engaged in, because those are the people we are around all the time, but the interests of the people we don't know very well, what do they matter? Step one in making an English commercial. Make sure everything is in English. Fuck. But what do we know about our best friend? We present the posting tail. A device that is able to understand what your dog likes and share it. Is it just me or does it look like a rocket? When the dog sees something that he likes, he wags his tail in a particular way. An accelerometer detects this movement and sends a signal to the camera. The camera takes a picture that automatically uploads onto the pet's social media. Damn, that's some advanced technology. Now, alright, let, let's just talk about this for a while. Why would you create a Facebook page for your dog? That is ridiculously stupid. Obviously, the dog doesn't give a sh It doesn't give a single f it doesn't even know what a computer is, so f*** it, put that aside. You do this to feel relevant. You create an illusion to make yourself feel better, and that's using your pet. It's a stupid idea, and no one cares. Also, let's talk about the pictures, because if you wanted pictures that people would actually care about, you'd take a picture of your pet, but no, no, no. You're taking a picture of the pet's back and then something random in the background. People would care if the dog was in the picture and it was looking cute. That's what grabs attention, but clearly, no, no. This is much more important, much more interesting. Interrupt this episode to tell you that this is not sponsored by Twix. Um, it's actually sponsored by Coca-Cola, um, but you know, I don't buy that, so I can't really um, show you. So I just thought, uh, I'll eat a Twix. This device is made up of a sensor, a camera, a 3G Wi-Fi dongle, and a Raspberry processor that is able to recognize and distinguish a regular tail wag from a happy one. I'm sorry, but to me, they seem exactly alike. Granted, once slightly faster, but if you really think about it, in order to wag your tail back and forth faster, you have to start out doing it slowly. I am 99% sure that this product does not know the difference between wagging. I am 99% sure, I know they're showing this in the commercial, but if you really think about it, meh. The posting tail includes a GPS that allows you to know which places make your dog the happiest. Why exactly would you want a GPS for that? Is your memory really that bad that you can't remember a single place your dog likes? No, no, you need to check an app first, obviously. The dog's tail turns into a big data generator, so we can give him more happy moments. Think about how embarrassing it must be to walk a dog wearing a rocket suit. Dogs tend to wank at literally anything, so that Facebook page you mentioned earlier will just be absolutely destroyed by pictures. You won't be able to take a look at one before 20 new arrive. If they see anything just remotely interesting, their tail will wag faster than you can blink. Not really sure how to compare those two things, but I'm sure there's a a uh, wag to, to blink conversion somewhere. Ooh, hello, I'm Max. And these are the things that I like. No, no, cut that. Fuck that. It, it hurts. It actually hurts. Next time you're watching a commercial like this, 
Be sure to wear a bag. That way, you can't get hit by the cringe. Let's not watch anymore. Let's just not. Even if the end was the best ending to any commercial of all time, it wouldn't be worth watching. Now, let's talk about the product. Is this useful in any way? No. No, it's not. Bring a camera instead. Have a decent memory. Know where your dog likes to go. That's it. You don't need to buy a rocket suit. Now, for the final question, am I going to buy it? No, because I've already bought five.